This is a, uh, well, VR to uh, our friend Steve over smoking cardboard. Hot, hot. Good stuff, little Earl Grey. Smoking the Dr. Graybo, which this might be one of my favorite pipes and uh, that I've recently attained. And got some, well, Bob's Chocolate Flake in it because, well, one of the things I've, I've learned from the YTPC is by the end of the month, you're only going to have lint in your pocket because somebody comes up with a tobacco review or look at this pipe and then, well, hoot here goes a little silly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I had, I think I had like four jars of tobacco for the longest time and, well, now I think I have, I don't know. 30, I think, something like that, and I've got a, a new, well, a <laughs> uh, tin of corncob pipe to jar up, and well, the Bob's Chocolate Flake. The way I'm smoking the Bob's Chocolate Flake, it may uh, <laughs> may not last long enough to get in the jar. Steve, love your videos. Look forward to your chats. And, uh, and well, uh, take a deep breath, my friend. The stress will go away. Anyway, back to, he asked, well, you know, what have I learned from the YTPC? And as a greenhorn, as many of you know, I've, I've learned quite a bit, honestly. Uh, I've had some great pipe cleaning tips. Uh, the, uh, well, little white sponges. Yeah, the magic eraser, I think, the bald-headed guy on. I learned something about that from Paladin and Piper. And Paladin and Piper also taught me, too, that you don't have to, well, <laughs> tamp the hell out of your pipe. Spencer, love this thing. And uh, I learned we have some great craftsmen in the YTPC. I'll say that. Spencer and a whole bunch of you. Tackle pipes there now. Just a lot of guys doing a lot of things. Danny the Whittle and Piper. And, yeah. Thanks, Danny. Appreciate your uh, appreciate your craftsmanship. We'll get to that here sometime soon. And uh, uh, I've learned that uh, there's a lot of big hearts in the YTPC. Uh, Parsimonious Piper and the YouTubers Care thing, and and uh, my friend Israel at SoCal Central Cal, all those guys and. Uh, I learned that I don't always have the coolest haberdashery from uh, Doug at Truck and Piper and all the rest of you. There's some great, there's some great haberdashery out there. I've learned the difference in some blends from quite a few of you. Um, always some great reviews going on by, by so many and there's so many names to mention. Um, and Steve, I dig how uh, you kind of stated the the small guys in the uh, the YTPC because uh, I think that's the core. I think those guys are the core, and uh, yeah, that's what carries it on. It's not all those big guys with ten thousand subscribers, but and they're great too. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, I believe there's a lot of heartfelt community in the smaller groups. Old man things, not really pipe related, but oh, that was a heck of a smoke ring. I didn't even attempt that. Old man things, Mike. He uh, <coughs> he taught me how to make a summer shandy, and thanks, Mike, because I've enjoyed <laughs> quite a few of them since. <coughs> Sorry, wrong pipe. Um, <laughs> wrong pipe. Get it? No. <coughs> anyway. Try to wash this down again and not choke myself or drown myself. But it's hard to mention everything that I've learned in the YTPC. I did learn the old freezer trick, and that wasn't from a presenter. I believe that was from one of our uh, great commenters that follow us that we, we sh should all really appreciate because those guys get some great comments. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Um, I've learned that it's okay to make mistakes on your channel. <laughs> yeah, because I'm good at that. And uh, I've learned that uh, 
I learned you can you don't have to have a rotation. You don't have to have a rotation. I've also uh, learned some uh, St. David's pipes. Uh, I learned that well, he smokes a lot of bowls a day, and uh, when you kind of clean your pipe, and uh, I never really gave pipe cleaning much thought. I'm reaming out a little bit with the old pipe cleaner, but uh, yeah, I just ordered a set actually, and it should be here today from Amazon. Uh, just a cheap pipe stand, another check uh, pipe tool, but a whole cleaning kit for pipes. So I'm kind of excited about that. And I wouldn't have gave that much thought if it hadn't been for the people of YTBC. Um, yeah, I've learned history. I've learned pipe smoking. I've learned cocktails. I've learned friendship. I've learned a little more about the Bible than I than, than I perhaps know. So. Um, Learned a great deal here, and uh, hopefully we'll all be around for a long time so we can uh, keep learning because uh, I believe a man has to learn something, at least one thing a day, or, or try to. Whether it's reading it, somebody letting you in with a little great tip, or just uh, just figuring something out for yourself. And uh, Yeah, so anyway, Steve... Thanks for this go you got going on, and uh, yeah, enjoy your pipes, my friends, and tip of the haberdashery, and hasta luego, catch you in the next one, and, and, and thanks to everyone for all the great tips and the teachings. Uh, have a great pipe. Don't forget to shake them jars. <laughs>